Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the problem for today. A regular hexagon is inscribed in a circle. O is the center of the circle, and M is the midpoint of line AB. Find angle theta. I draw two lines here. The first line is connecting point F to the point C, and second line, which is perpendicular to the FC, is passing through the center O and the point M. The angle OCB is formed at 60 degrees. The way of getting the 60 degrees here is simply because BOC is in fact an equilateral triangle. So each angle here is in fact 60 degrees. I can confirm that for OC is the radius of the triangle. And at the same time, BC is in the same length as the radius, which I label with the letter R. I'm going to draw another line connecting point B to the point D. And this is a straight line that perpendicular to the line FC. So now, this is perpendicular to each other. I'm going to find this as the intersection point of the two lines, which I'm going to label as P. Next step, I will try to find what is the distance from P to the C in terms of R. By referring to the triangle B, P, C. We need to find what is the length of the PC by using cos 60 degrees. That is the same as the distance of PC divided by the hypo, which is I label with R. And now the PC here is by using the R multiplied to cos 60 degrees. Cos 60 degrees, the value of it is one half. So it turns one half R. Now, this PC, the length here is one half R. The distance of OP is the same as PC, which is one half R. So, I will just have to label on it. In the same triangle of BPC, we are dealing with what is the length of the BP by using the Pythagoras theorem. That in turn R square minus one half R and square it up. And we have to square it the whole thing, of course. That would be three over four R square and square root of the whole thing. And I'm going to simplify this part as third three divided by two R. Now, by looking at the length of the BD is in fact twice of the length of BP. I can write it as BD is twice the length of the BP. So what I get for the value of the BD here is by multiplying 2 on the BP which is at this value. And now for the value of BD that I got it here is set 3 R. The next step, I'm trying to work out what is the value of the angle alpha by using the triangle M, 
BD. So in the triangle of MBD, I will have to use tan alpha, which is MB divided by the length of the BD. Now, I am going to fill up what is the value of the MB. MB is in fact same length with OB at one half R. And the value of the BD that I got here, which is set 3 divided by set 3 R. Now, tan alpha is, I'm going to simplify for this part, and I get it as 1 divided by 2 multiplied with the set 3. And the value of the alpha, I got it as 16.1 degrees by using the calculator. The value of the alpha is the same for this part is because both are in alternate angle and I know that alpha is the same here as well is because this left and right triangles are incongruent so theta is in fact I can get it by using two alpha because we got two alphas here that means theta is the value of 2 multiplied by the value of alpha at 16.1 degrees. The value of the theta now is 32.2 degrees. And we solve the puzzle. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.